Check that out guys. Look at that guy. That's like a four and a half foot bull shark. Look at those vibrant colors right there guys. I'm heading to the backwaters on my kayak right now and I wasn't even gonna do my intro yet but we got tailing redfish right out in front of us and right over here we got tailing redfish everywhere it's early in the morning it's probably about 7 30 a.m. Um, I'm gonna start off just bombing around this live target mullet and if nothing picks that up I might start throwing a paddle tail there's a whole school of reds out in front of me and they're all like pretty good size too. Oh, I'm getting chased, I'm getting chased. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, he went away. That was a big one. Alrighty, so after a pretty long paddle, probably a good 20, 25 minute paddle, we are now coming into the backwaters. So we are now going to keep our eyes peeled for snook, redfish, tarpon, um, jack, basically, I mean black drum, anything we can really get on back here in the backwaters. Still trying to break in this kayak, this is the second time I ever took it out. Oh, there goes a redfish right in front of me, that's a good sign. Alright, so like I said, we're just going to keep paddling in these backwaters and keep our eyes out. Um, we're going to try to get away from the wind real quick before I start really fishing fishing, because it's pretty windy. So. Uh, yeah, we should get on a good bite here soon. All right, so I'm just drifting this little flat. I think we got a school of reds kind of all around. So trying to like maneuver my kayak at the same time, it's really hard. But I'm getting more comfortable with standing up in it. So that's really good. But uh, I think we got a bunch of fish. It's just a matter of maneuvering the kayak and actually being able to cast at them. Water's cold, water's super clear. Oh yeah, those are all reds. Oh yeah, big reds. This tide's pushing against me. It's a strong outgoing tide right now. Paddling right against it. I just heard a mega explosion came from around the mangroves. Oh my god! A snook just came up and hammered it right here next to me. <laughs> Literally right next to me, just messed up the screw lock. Stupid Z-mans are so hard to get on a screw lock hook. He chased it out first follow-up like real good one of the day other than redfish oh we just ate it first fish of the day baby let's go oh he just spit it saw one redfish pass right next to me Probably about 10 minutes ago. Other than that, I haven't really seen much other than a couple snooks swimming by. I don't know, man. I'm looking. Ooh, big snook right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's swimming under my boat right now. I'm going to not 
move as much as I can. I just got bit right there again twice. And there's a snook under my boat. Oh, that was probably a 28 inch fish. Oh, fish. Little snook. It looks like that one I missed earlier. Nice. On the Z-Man. Oh, this will be a good time to use my fish gripper. Oh, of course. Right as I grab the freaking fish gripper. I got like a four foot bonnet head behind me. He just chased in my paddle tail. Where'd he go? I think I want to catch him. Never caught a shark before. This will be my first shark if I can actually catch him. I don't think he's interested. Eat it. Come on. Oh, I got him on the fin. No way. I snagged him on accident when I brought it across his face. No way. This is a big bonnet head I just snagged on accident. Right on top of the fin. Whoa. Oh yeah, that's like a four footer. That's a good one on the 2500. No way, did I really just catch my first shark? No way. Ugh. He's heavy, he's heavy. He's kind of towing the kayak. He's just going in circles. Let's see you, buddy, let's see you. We're just out here in the middle of the bayou, just hooked up with a shark. This is crazy. Okay. Whoa, there he goes running. Whoa. This is gonna be a long fight, you guys. He just realized he's hooked. Now he's towing the kayak. All right, I gotta sit down for this one. Oh yeah, there he goes. I got 20 pound fluorocarbon on this. I don't want him to tow me in the mangroves. This is a big shark for a kayak. Come on. He does not like that sunlight. Oh. Got him both sides. Whoa, he's splashing, he's splashing. Oh my goodness, they don't stop moving, do they? Consider that my first shark. Let's see what he's gonna do. All right, don't bite me, dude. I'd like to hold him, but he's just not cooperating to be held. But that right there, guys, that is my first ever shark. Check that out. It's probably a three and a half foot bonehead. head. I wonder if I grabbed him by the tail if he, oh yeah, see, he wants to bite. God, he keeps trying to bite me. All right, I was gonna try to hold him up, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take the hook out with the pliers right boat side. Let's grab that little hook point. 
Let's wiggle it out. Here he goes. There he goes. All right, and he's off. All righty. Well, that was pretty weird. I guess I can consider that my first shark on a freaking Z-Man paddle tail. And I snagged him. Maybe one day I can actually get one to bite. <laughs> right, I'm trying to find a spot to like park out for lunch, but freaking there's like a school of jack just murdering bait on these mangroves right now. Thinking maybe we can hook up with one before lunch. That'd be really cool. They're pretty big jacks too. Oh my god, he just tried to eat it. Got him. Got him, just sight casted him. Oh, that's a decent jack. There's like two other ones running with him. Look at that. Little backwater canal tuna. There go the other two right there. God, I haven't caught a jack over two pounds in so long. I forgot how hard they fight. Little submarine. This is literally 10 inches of water right here, man. This is so cool. Ugh. That's probably a four pounder. All right, come on. Settle down, Mr. Cavalli. Uh-oh, my rod. Don't wanna mess that up. Okay, of course. Of freaking course, man. Why does this have to happen to me every freaking time? I just sat down to go grab that fish by the tail and he came unpinned. All right, so we just pulled up to this little flat. I'm kind of seeing fish swimming all over the place. So just maybe get one to eat. Oh my God, there's a 45 inch snook in front of my face. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys saw a shadow. When I was coming up to that thing, I was a thousand percent sure that was a log. Oh my God, that was a snook. It's hard finding where the fish are at, man. Once you find them though, you got them. Oh my God, that is a big bull shark. That's like five foot. Well, maybe a little bit smaller. Oh yeah, look at him, he's coming back for it. Look at that guy. That's like a four and a half foot bull shark in like a freaking foot of water. You know what? Let's go over to him and throw a freaking live target mullet. Let's see if we can just hook up with the big shark. Oh yeah, he's darting out of here. Where did he go now? All right, we got another bull shark. I'm gonna see if he'll eat the live target mullet. It's coming straight to me. He didn't even look at it. Are you kidding me? He didn't even look at it? Oh, wow. I just cast him out of the rod in the water. How nice is that? He's over there. Oh, he's chasing stuff. Here he comes. You see him? Look at that thing. It's like four or five feet. Oh, that spooked him. Last chance. Nope, he's spooked. All right, so we came into uh, this different backwater system that I've actually never been to, but I've been wanting to explore it, so this is my first time here. Uh, I already saw a couple snook just kind of cruising around the mangroves, so I know there's gotta be some fish around here. Just gonna cast this little Z-Man paddle tail around the mangroves, hopefully get on a fish. Oh 
Oh my god. Got him. Oh my god. <laughs> like a 15 pound jack just tried to take it. Come on, come back. That was so aggressive. Ooh. A snook just chased it all the way up. A little snook. Probably like 20 inches. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Uh, got on my first shark today. Pretty weird. Uh, snagged him in the, the fin. That was super weird. Uh, sight casted a jack. And then he came off right next to the boat. Super disappointing, but it, it's, it is what it is. If it was a redfish, I'd be a lot more disappointed. But uh, also had a snook next to the boat. So technically, we didn't really land anything today other than that shark. But uh, it's just fun times out here on the kayak, as always. Out here in the backwaters. Gotta love it. But uh, going to be about it. Um, as always, you guys stay safe, keep fishing, and tight lines. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Simple Florida Fishing.